Namaste, this is Monica and I welcome you to today's shoulder and the chest opening uh, session. So today's session and all the asanas that we are going to practice in this flow are totally going to be focused on the shoulders and opening your chest. I would suggest to keep a belt, scarf or a towel uh, for the session but don't worry if you don't, don't have it around. We can do the session without these props as well. Uh, I really hope by the end of the session you're going to feel really open in your chest. You're going to have a very smooth flow of your breath and prana. This is also going to correct your posture. So let's see how we go about the session today. So let us meet on the mat now. So let us begin a session with breath awareness first as always. Uh, sitting in a cross leg position. The whole purpose of this practice, the breath awareness is to Find that grounding and centering for yourself so that we can also connect with our breath and we can continue this connection throughout the session. So you can sit in a comfortable position. You can place your palms over your knees. Maybe trying to keep your spine straight. I'm sitting over a cushion to get some more lifting in my hips and in my chest. My palms are facing down and resting on my thighs. Gently close your eyes, relax your shoulders and relax your jaw. Make your connection with your body, especially with your shoulders. As we are going to focus more on our shoulders, opening of our shoulders and opening of our chest today. And now take your awareness to your breath. Establish your connection with the natural rhythm of your breath. By simply watching it without any interference, without judging it, you are simply watching it. Allow your breath to bring you in the present moment. Bring your awareness back to your body, feeling the weight of the body on the ground. Surrendering your whole body to your mat on the ground. We are letting all the control go. We are allowing ourselves to be here, to lose our body, to release all the control. And with this grounding, you can bring your palms together in front of the heart center. I'll be chanting one ohm to begin our session. If you want, you can join me in or maybe simply watch your breath. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, open your eyes. So let us begin with our first asana. Removing the cushion or the prop, maybe if you if that is what you want. Bring your knees together, swing your knees back to sit in Vajrasana. So we'll, you may want to use the belt in, in this one belt or the scarf or the towel, whatever you have kept beside you or you can simply use your palms. We are going to practice Gaumukhasana, the cow phase, which is very good for opening of your shoulder, great posture correction, and you will also feel a nice opening in your chest. So to practice this one, you raise your right arm up, bend your right elbow, place your right palm behind your back as if you are petting yourself using your right palm, the palm facing your back. Now take your left arm from behind or from your left and bend your left elbow try and reach your left palm to your right and if you if it is touching great if it is not touching you may want to keep it somewhere wherever your arms reach now for the position of your chest 
make sure you are not collapsing your chest forward so your chest is properly open alternatively if you want to use the belt catch hold of your belt scarf whatever you're using hold it in your right hand take your left arm back and then pull it in the opposite direction so that you can open your chest as much as you can feel as if your elbows are trying to reach to each other behind your back feel the opening in your chest keeping your chin parallel to the floor if you want you can close your eyes and feel this opening in your shoulders feel this opening in your chest let us hold here for some time And as you exhale, release. Let us change the side now. Remember, you're keeping your chin parallel to the floor. You're not letting your head hang down. Feel the sensation in your shoulders as you hold here. Keeping your full awareness to your breath, your sensations to the opening. We are letting all of our thoughts go out. We are simply being here on a mat, fully present. And as you exhale, release. Sitting in the same position, you can interlace your fingers behind your back and pull your palms down, opening your chest, opening your shoulders completely, maybe trying to face your chest towards the ceiling and drop your head back. Bringing your shoulder blades together. Now as you exhale from here, we will start folding forward. If you want, you can sit over a cushion if this is getting challenging for you. And keeping your chin forward as you go down to your maximum capacity then you can push your arms towards the floor beyond your head again nice opening to your shoulders here if you feel as you are lifting up your hips are also lifting then place your hips back and then you can stop your arms from falling forward so stop wherever you feel the maximum stress that you can take right now I'm keeping my chin forward because my purpose over here is also keeping to keep my chest open. We are not allowing our chest to collapse. And as we inhale, start coming all the way up. Let us move to the cat and cow. Another very great opening for your shoulders and your chest. And a great asana, a great yoga practice for your lower back and for your spine. Just align your knees with your hips. Align your shoulders with your wrist. Fingers nicely wide spread on the mat and then as you inhale, lift your chin up, look up to the ceiling, press your chest down, arc your spine, exhale to tilt your pelvic down, tailbone facing down, lift your spine, round your spine, chin to your chest, inhale up, exhale, inhale up. Up. Inhale up. Exhale back. Inhale up. Exhale back. Let us do one more time. Inhale up. And exhale back. Let us come back in the neutral position. Lift your right arm up, opening your chest to your right so you can stay here. Or you can maybe rotate your arm, place your palm behind your back, opening your right shoulder, looking to your right, pressing that left palm down. Opening your chest fully to your right, as much as you can. Exhale to bring your right palm back down. 
and inhale to lift your left arm up. Again, stay here or placing your left arm behind your back, opening your left shoulder, looking over your left shoulder, keeping your body weight as much as you can in the center. And feel that opening in your left shoulder here, pressing the right palm down. And as you exhale, again, come back on your four. So whenever you do all these asanas with knees down on the mat, if you feel your mat is not thick enough, you may want to support your knees with some kind of cushioning. So see if you need that and maybe you can use this in the practice whenever you do. Tuck your toes, lift your knees up and slide your hips back to come into downward dog. Maybe if possible, pressing those heels back down if your heels are reaching to the mat and press the chest towards your thighs. Again, feeling that opening in your chest. So if you feel you are collapsing your chest, then open your shoulders and feel that opening in your chest. Feel the breath flowing freely through your heart center to your belly. Feel free to bend your knees if you feel that your back is rounding then it is fine to bend the knees so find your variation now from here bring your right leg forward between your palms drop your left knee on the floor on the left the back of your left foot resting on the floor let your hips sink forward bringing your right knee above your right heel now sweep your arms parallel to the floor raise your arms up join your palms and then again sending your upper arms beyond your ears so opening your chest up to the sky or to the ceiling let us hold here you're working on your hips as well as on your shoulders on your chest exhale to bring your palms back down moving back to your downward dog tuck your left toe take your right leg back and then bring your left leg forward drop your right knee the back of your right foot resting let's change the side let us feel the opening on the other side connect with all the sensations and stay connected with your breath Always breathing in and out through your nostrils. Exhale. Place your palms back on the mat. Tuck your toe. Slide your left leg back to come into downward dog. Let us now walk to the top of a mat or maybe you can step forward. As you inhale, look up. You can place your hands on your shin with a flat back, keeping your chin forward. Keep your body weight equally distributed between the mount of your toes and your heels. Release your arms. Take your arms behind your back and sweep your arms as if you are sweeping them parallel to your mat. And raise your arms up, coming all the way up. Join your palms together. Now here we will be taking our arms behind our ears, opening our chest again up to the sky. At the same time, push your pelvic forward and feel that opening in the chest. Inhale to come back in the center and exhale, release. Now your feet hip distance apart, interlace your fingers behind your back. You can use a towel also or a scarf. Maybe for some people interlacing the fingers is not that easy. In that case, you just hold two ends of a towel or scarf, anything that works for you. So this is how you can. So as you inhale, you lift your chest, you press your palms down, you open your shoulders and as you exhale, start folding forward keep your chin forward so that you can allow your spine to be straight instead of rounding so much also when you keep your chin forward chances are less that you would be collapsing 
your chest. So we are not rounding our back. We are not collapsing our shoulders like this as we go down. Bend your knees, inhale to come all the way up. Step two, four feet distance apart, keeping four feet distance between your feet, keeping them parallel to each other. Again, interlacing your fingers behind your back or like I said, you can use the belt or the scarf. Press your palms down towards the mat, opening your chest, look up. Inhale, lift your chest, lengthen up. And as you exhale, press your foot down and fold. And once you find, once you go all the way down as much as you can, then you can again let your hands fall down be on the, towards the floor beyond your head. Going deep down is not as important as keeping a chest open or spine not too rounded, feeling that sensation in your shoulders and bend your knees, inhale to come all the way up. Now step to the top of a mat, stand in Tadasana, opening your palms, opening your chest, maybe slightly taking your chin up and allow yourself to breathe. Let us open our feet again to four feet distance, feet keeping parallel to each other. Turn your right foot out, your heel meeting the midline of your left foot. Stretch your arms in a T shape, fingers extending and then bend your right knee to bring it over your right heel. Now from here, you will take the left arm behind your back, maybe placing on your right thigh if that is where your arm reaches. If not, maybe somewhere behind your back and then drop your right arm on your right thigh, opening your left shoulder, looking over your left shoulder. So choose your variation. Exhale, release, inhale come up, straighten your right knee, turn your right foot in, left foot out, again arms in a T shape, bend your left knee. Taking your right arm behind your back, you can keep it behind your back or maybe catch hold of your left thigh again. As you exhale, bend over to your left, placing your left forearm on your left thigh, opening your right shoulder, looking over to the ceiling over your right shoulder. Exhale, release, inhale to come up, straighten your left knee, step to the top of your mat. We will move to another asana. So step your left foot about two and a half feet distance behind you. So your pelvic is making a parallel line with the shorter edge of the mat. Cross your arms behind your back and bring your shoulder blades together. So this is option number one. Option number two is you can Join your palms together, rotate your arms to come into the reverse prayer. Again, joining your palms, maybe sliding them up a little bit more, as much as you can, and then bring your elbows together to bring your shoulder blades together. This will open your chest. So choose your variation, which one works for you. And as you inhale, lift your chest, keeping your hips aligned in one line. As you exhale, fold forward. If you feel you want to bend your front knee, feel free to do that, but do not collapse your chest. So even if you're higher up, that's fine. Keeping your chest open, sending your shoulders back, keeping your shoulder blades together, we will fold forward.
inhale to come up step to the top of your mat and take your right leg back choose your variation cross your arms or reverse prayer shoulder blades together inhale lift up exhale to fold inhale come all the way up step to the top of your mat bend your knees join your palms to the heart center now as you exhale twist to your right place your left elbow outside your right knee look over your right shoulder sending the right shoulder back opening your chest to your right you can keep your knees in one line but they are not touching each other Feel the lengthening in your spine. And exhale, release. Back to the center. And again, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, twist to your left. Place your elbow outside your left knee. Opening the left shoulder. Look over left shoulder and as you exhale release come back to the center from here exhale to pull forward inhale to look up exhale to place your palms on the mat Come to the plank, align your shoulder with your wrist and then lower down your knees, chest in between your palms, rest, rest your chin on the mat and here lift your chest to come into a bird dog. We hold here for a few breaths in a bird dog, look up to the ceiling, relax your shoulders, roll your shoulders back, feel that opening in your chest. If keeping your chin parallel to the floor is more comfortable, you can do that as well. Watch your breath. And from here, take your hips back. Place your hips over your heels and keeping your arms, palms wherever they are, moving into the child pose. If you have a gap, place a cushion under your hips. Otherwise, allow yourself to relax. Let us make a movement from here. We will lie down on our belly. Some more shoulder opening and the chest opening. So again, bend your right and the left knee. Catch hold of your foot or your ankles. So wherever your hands reach. As you inhale, option number one, rest your chin on the mat. Lift your chest. So your foot would try to take your arms away stretching your shoulders at the back so this is option number one and if it works for you maybe lifting your knees as well up and as you exhale drop and relax again Place your palms right next to your chest, tuck your toes, lift yourself back up. Let us move to lie down on our back. So we will move to Setu Bandhasana. If this is one asana which is beautiful and find its place in all of the sequences. For Setu Bandhasana, keep your knees bent and when you place your arms on the side, your fingertips should be touching your heels. So that's how you can measure. So if your feet are a little far, 
walk them closer, maybe sliding your hips a bit forward and then you can press your palms down, press your foot down, allow your shoulders to relax on the floor, your shoulders touching the mat and as you exhale completely, lift your hips up off the floor. Allowing your body weight to flow towards your shoulders. So that's the whole purpose here. So if you have to shift your body towards your shoulders, do that. Interlace your fingers if possible and maybe bringing those shoulder blades together one by one. And let us hold here. Keep pressing your foot down. That will give you a better lifting. Feel the work in your shoulders. Feel the work in your chest and watch your belly breathing in this one. It is beautiful to watch the belly going up and down in this one. And exhale to release. We will move to the shoulder stand which can be sometimes a bit challenging. So I can suggest you can either keep a cushion so for shoulder stand, there's a variation for that. You can either use a cushion or a block under your uh, lower back. So you can be in the same position and then lift your hips, slide the block or whatever you're going to use. Keep it under your hips, under the sacrum and then bring your knees closer to your chest and then lift and straighten your knees, your, point, your toes pointing towards the chest. So again, in this we have to make sure that our shoulders are nicely open and resting on the mat. This will also give you a nice straight posture on your upper back as well as the nice opening to your chest and place your palms on the side. So this is option number one, option number two. You can actually get into proper shoulder stand if it is possible, if your body allows. So bring your knees closer to your chest, bounce your hips. And once you bounce your hips, support your hips with your palms. Your upper arms are right next to your body. And then walk your palms down your body. Once you're comfortable here, you feel your found, your ground, then you can straighten your knees. Allow your body weight to surrender on your shoulders. As you exhale, bring your knees down, roll your body back on the mat. Place your palms under your hips, palms facing down and extend your legs, keeping your big toes together, your feet together. Another beautiful asana for your shoulder opening and your chest opening. So your upper arms are right next to your chest, your elbows are also on the mat. Drop your forearms and press your forearms down, press your elbows down to lift your chest. Allow your head to lift up and slide your legs forward looking at your big toes and your toes are pointing. Feel the opening and keep opening your chest up to the ceiling. You can stay here again gazing at your big toes or exhale to drop your head back. Maybe sliding your leg up back as you inhale lift your chest lift your head up look at your big toes and as you exhale slide your legs back allow your shoulders to rest on the mat release your palms and let us move Shavasana from here. So let us move to relaxation. You can separate your legs. Your legs are touching the edge of the longer edge of your mat. Palms facing up. Your arms away from your body. Tuck your chin slightly in to align your neck with your spine. 
and let your body completely be free and see if you feel any difference in the way you're breathing right now we have done so much of chest opening as well so that's the thing when you do shoulder opening the chest opening comes with it or vice versa watch your breath watch yourself relaxing with each breath with each exhalation and with each exhalation you are relaxing each and every part of your body exhale and relax your toes exhale relax your foot relax your ankles Watch your shin, your calf muscles and with exhalation, let all the tension release from there and relax. <sighs> relax your knees, the back of your knees, the front and back of your thighs. Your lower back, your hips, your groin, your abdomen, let it all relax. Bring your awareness to your chest and feel the sensation in your chest. You have released so much tension today and you have opened your chest. You have worked on your chest so much. You have worked on your shoulders, your upper back. So allow these parts to really relax. Let this relaxation flow from your chest, from your shoulders, all the way to your fingertips. How about your neck? Relax your neck muscles, relax your face muscles. The crown of your head. And move your awareness back to your breath to feel this relaxation flowing throughout your breath, throughout your body as you inhale and exhale. Take a minute to connect with yourself in silence. You can continue in Shavasana and this relaxation if you'd like to come out. Bring your awareness to the surroundings. Move your toes and fingers gently. And move your head from one side to the other. Bring your feet together. Stretch your arms up. Stretch your whole body. And release. Bend your knees, roll over to your right. Take a moment here before you come up. And let us move to move back to a seating asana. Absorb your whole practice. Absorb all the benefits of the practice. The posture correction is not just to look good, it also has a greater benefit in terms of having a smooth flow of prana and energy. So with that, let us join our palms together in front of the heart center. We'll be chanting one om to finish this practice, to seal our practice for today. So let us take a deep breath in. Oh.
and as you exhale open your eyes so if you've enjoyed this practice with me today you may want to hit the like button and you may also want to subscribe to my channel i'll be happy to see you again soon in some other practice until then i wish you a wonderful day ahead thank you so much bye bye